Okay, so this project will use some paper towels. They just uh, plain ones, and I got some jute from the Dollar Tree. The clay, I decided against it because I had actually rubber snakes, so I used those. Some eyeballs from the Dollar Tree, diff, uh, little tray for the paint, and I had three different colors of brown paint that I used along with the black one. Of course, the Mod Podge, the Elms glue, and the main thing, I had that box um, that says live. I purchased it last year on the sale when they had all this out there Halloween sale so I bought that box and it's been in my possession since then so I'm sure you can find something similar they had a bunch of Christmas one on sale last year so you can use that or if you have a wooden one I think Walmart sells those uh, you can use that one as well so I used my marker to make some outlines on the book and then uh, in the further, you'll see that I'll use my glue gun to make like a stitches on the book that it will be real, uh, well, look real. And then I used my jute, I cut it in the little pieces and placed it on the side of my book and everything will be covered in the little pieces of paper towel by using Mod Podge. And then I let it dry completely before I started applying my paint to it. Now, while my book in, was covered in a paper towel and was drying, I got that um, eyeball from one of the Halloween pack and be careful, I used my X-Acto knife and it was really sharp, but I got it um, opened because I needed only half of it. So I placed it on my book and, by using the hot glue and then I covered it with the Elms glue first and on top I added the Mod Posh as well and then I let it completely dry all over again. So while my bouquet was still drying I used my glue gun again and I went over the stitches and kind of made them visible a little bit more. So then I let it dry again so the hot glue would dry before I paint over them. So I outlined my stitches on the book with the black paint and then I went with my kind of dark brown over the book and I wasn't careful around the edges because I want the black to bleed in into the brown and then I went with my light brown a little bit over so it will give this old leather effect on the book when the paper towel is completely completely dry at the end. So then when I was done with all the brown colors around the book, I used a kind of uh, light uh, yellowish color and I'll outline the place where I wanted to put my snake and that's where I went against the clay. I just decided to use my rubber snakes that I had, um, I think I got them from the Dollar Tree last year. So I placed both snakes in the corners and one I stretched it all the way down. Uh, all the way through the book and that was it
Okay guys, for this project, I'll be using a Dollar Tree pumpkin, a candle holder, everything's from Dollar Tree, a set of skulls, and a bouquet of sunflowers. So, for that, I'm gonna paint this orange by using my Beverly chalk paint in the color pumpkin. The pumpkin will be color, color painted in black. It is an ink. Uh, chuck paint and I think that's all I'm gonna paint and then for the flowers I have seen that inspiration on the Pinterest somebody put the skulls inside the flowers so I kind of wanted to recreate it because I thought it was super cute decorations for Halloween Okay, so the pumpkin is dry along with the holder. So what I did, I used a, some rocks from the Dollar Tree and put it in the bottom. And then I stuffed that star foam floral from the Dollar Tree where I will be uh, sticking my flowers in. So right now I will use my um, wire cutters and I cut the lengths that I needed and then I'm gonna glue the skulls to the sunflowers and then I'm gonna arrange this first then I'll put it back on my top how I want it and along with all this um, I will show you how I do it Okay guys, so for this project we need half a pumpkin. This is from the Dollar Tree. I cut it and I'll show you how. And what I'll do, I will go over and paint with Beverly plaster paint just to make sure there's no orange peeking through. So that and then I print it out. This cute little kitty print. So, I'm going to cut the kitty out and then I'm going to use the foam board. It is from Dollar Tree. I just got a little piece left. So, and I'm going to um, do the shape of the kitty on this board and then, of course, paint all the sides with my acrylic black paint so we don't have that. And then I will leave a little dot like a little bit in here so I can stick it and it will stay and for my candle I will be using behind the kitty is one of this um, I think gonna put it like this 
so it will stay that way so kind of like that but we will see we'll work with it when we get to that step Okay, this is how the kitty looks like, and I don't know if you can see, there's a candle behind it. So at the top, I kind of want to decorate it with this leaf, which I'm going to stick it in there and use my hot glue gun to place it in there. And then also, I will use a little spider on the top. Okay, so I turn up the lights so you guys could see how it is in the dark. It's really nifty. So my son really likes it. And here it is. Spooky kitty. Alright guys, for this DIY you need uh, two hands, which is they come in one pack. Then I got two lanterns and two little placards. Everything's from Dollar Tree and to decorate it, I got a pack of decorative spiders. It's all uh, available right now in Halloween section. So also I used um, plain uh, gloss flat paint that I have on hand. So what I did, I sent the glitter off my little blockers. Then I used my paint to paint them black. And when that stuff dried, then I cut my uh, skeleton hands a little bit shorter using my Mighty Saw. So this way, I'm, they're not sticking out that much. Then I used the hot glue with the E6000 to glue my hands right in the middle of the plucker. And I left it overnight. So after that was dry, then I did all the decorations and the projects turned out pretty cool. And it sits in my hallway and my kids just adore it. For this DIY, again, you don't really need much. I got, again, two little pluckers from Dollar Tree. I scrape um, the glitter with my kind of like a sticker scraper. Then I send it down and wipe it off. And to paint, I use my Beverly chalk paint in a color pumpkin. And I love the chalk paint because it dries super quick, so I didn't have to wait too long. And then when it dried, I print out those cute little say things off my Cricut and you don't need to do that you can just print out anything you want put it on and just do the Mod Podge over it and it will be as beautiful as mine
Alright guys, for this project, all you need is a Dollar Tree pumpkin. I print out some cute little hocus pocus saying of my Cricut and then you need some black paint. So for the Cricut part, if you don't have it, I always have an option for you. You can use a regular printer and print it out and then cut it in the shape of what you want it. Either you can do a stencil or you can just glue it and mud buzz it over and it will look as beautiful as um, the Cricut. Believe me, I used that method for quite some times because I didn't have Cricut for quite a while. So then I used uh, regular painter sticks and I carved a little bit of dent right on the middle and made it uh, my pumpkin stand. So I did use my Beverly chalk paint in a color pumpkin to paint everything. And as you can tell, my pumpkin's black. It's a regular black paint that I have on hand. Then I used my Cricut um, sign. I transferred to my pumpkin. And of course, I always mud posh everything over so you will seal everything and give this glossy, perfect look. And as you can tell, um, I decorated with some Dollar Tree leftovers that I have. I thought it turned out cute. And I did E6000 my pumpkin into my little stand, left it overnight, and it's gorgeous. All right, so all of the items for this project are from the Dollar Tree. You will need one wreath form, a cute little scarf that is the Halloween theme as well. Then I picked up six flower bouquets, two purple and four black ones and all of them had like little eyeballs inside and little spiders on top of it and I did use the whole thing with the flowers I have a little bit of leaves left but um, I did use all the flowers so then I picked up that wooden sign that I thought would be just perfect for my reef and um, I got the lights, but I end up not using them. You're welcome to use it, but I, after I was done, it just didn't fit me. And of course, the glue gun. Okay, so I wrapped my scarf around the wreath. I cut it in half and just keep wrapping. And as you will see, one scarf is enough for that whole wreath. But I was not going to use the scarf and I tried one of the flowers without it and it would just not stick to the wreath because it, it's kind of like it's a star foam so if you use the hot glue it kind of melts it and the flowers uh, want to fall off so I decided to use the scarf so to secure the flowers so my wreath will stay in place. Okay guys, let's talk about supplies for this. So I got a Dollar Tree plain reef form, star form or whatever. So uh, this thing is uh, from Spider from last year. 
the one of my decoration broke and I decided to save the legs and luckily I will be needing them so I have seen um, them already selling them it is exactly the same one at the Dollar Tree right now so you can just buy one if you want then I got a spider web okay then I got this I am not sure if I'm gonna be using it but I'm planning so I'm gonna show it to you and main star is this uh, thread I guess so I have bought this a uh, couple of years ago because I was into knitting so much and I did not use it so I did not buy it right now but I could look on Amazon if I find something close I will link in the description box it's supposed to be black I think it's black but I'm not I think it is so and I will be using this uh, what is it called straight pin to secure my uh, yarn that yarn not thread yarn see it comes to me <laughs> to my reef because I like to reuse the form later so if I don't like it or the decoration didn't work out which most of the time it does uh, work out and I don't really take it apart unless I really, something happens to it so I will use the pins you can use the hot glue if you don't want to use it to secure the yarn to your uh, reef form so and for the eyeballs I will use those two pom-poms and it is a pack from Dollar Tree from last year so I will use this too for the eyeballs so very cute very easy project so let's get to it
Okay, well this project, um, as I told you guys, I got it, I have this, I have seen the inspirational piece at the Walmart and I just don't want it to pay $13 for it. So it's uh, a countdown calendar until the Halloween. So I'm going to be using this um, Dollar Tree board that I purchased at the Halloween and the paint uh, that I'll be using it is the black um, acrylic paint from Plaid. And then two other ones are from Verily, which is white and a pumpkin color. So I'm I'm gonna try not to use any stencils, just draw it by hand, and we'll see how that goes. And then I pulled those two little hooks from the prior projects, and you can buy a box of them. Um, I just had those handy, so I'm gonna use that. And for my uh, numbers to flip. Uh, to count days, I'll be using just the painter sticks. They are uh, available for free, as far as I can tell, at the Home Depot. And I already pre-marked myself because I'll need the six of those little pieces. Uh, they are, should be around two inch long. So I'll use my little saw to cut them off. And this will be the piece that I'll throw it away because it has a bendy thing, so I don't really need it. So, But I'll use most of it. And then there's an extra piece because I need six. So this should be a really easy and really cute uh, calendar handout. And I have some leftover stickers from the prior project. This is a Dollar Tree as well. Um, so I'm going to try use this as a decorations, but we'll see how it turns out. So anyway, this is all we need for this uh, calendar. And let's get work on it. Okay guys, I had two options for you. So, I took a picture like I told you, I printed out, I emailed it to myself and I printed out on my regular printer. So I used my carbon paper on the first word, on this one, when, and it was difficult to do because the my base is black, so it was hard to see and I can't draw like that. I can't, I can't do the cursor like that. So I have talked to my friend Elizabeth from Dindy Soap DIY and she suggested something amazing for me to try and use the chalk paint on the back. So I did one word and it turned out wonderful. Okay, you got two choices, either to a draw numbers on those little things with your paint, or use a felt numbers from Dollar Tree. They come in a pack like that. And if you don't want to mess with the wood pieces, you can use key tags uh, from the Dollar Tree. You can just get one of those and 
draw a number on it and then just hang it on this. That would work too. I would take off the little ring, probably would be better. If you take off this ring and hang it like this. Okay, so for this topiary, you will need three pumpkins. I used a bucket from last year and two star foam pumpkins from a Dollar Tree, which I took it outside and spray painted all white. Okay, I painted all of my pumpkins, which is the bucket, and the two from the Dollar Tree star foam. So yeah, as you can tell, the paint, when you spray paint, it wants to eat it. So, but be careful. I think it turned out, it just colored the, the orange color that I wanted. So now I'm gonna assemble my topiary and I'm gonna draw Jack's face on every pumpkin. So for this one as a bucket, I'm gonna use a bag of rocks from the Dollar Tree so it would be stable. And then I'll glue one on top of each other and then I'll draw with my pencil first and then outline it with just a regular um, black paint. Okay, so I got all done. Now my top is dry, I think so, yeah. I'm gonna use my glue gun to secure it in place and we are done with this one. So as you can tell, it wasn't that difficult at all. Okay, so let's talk about supplies. You will need 14 inch reef from the Dollar Tree. Then as for the mash, I'll be using this burlap, kind of like a ribbon. I don't know what it's called. I had it from the prior project. As you can see, it's still pre-cut. So I'm gonna be using this and I got a few new ones from the Dollar Tree and they are like a brown and light green. So I'm gonna mix them together and pre-cut them seven inch long as I usually do. So that would be for uh, a wreath. Then for the decorative, I have this ribbon that I'm gonna use. Then I used my printer, regular printer, not the Cricut, just a regular printer. And then I cut it off and this is a cardboard from the box. And what I'll do, I'll glue it together and mod podge it over. And for the decorations, I will don't know if you guys have, I had it left over from the potty packs. It's the glasses, some stickers, uh, like a card. It's like a ticket to the train, I guess. This is what it looks like. Um, then a couple of notebooks. So all of that, whatever you have for the decorations, and then I got a couple of rubber snakes. That's that, and looks like a game watch. And I will be making a little broom. So I went outside and picked up a couple of sticks. So what I'll do, I'll use my uh, little stick from the Dollar Tree. It's a, a pack of 10, it's come. So I will wrap it around and use my jute to kind of secure and make a broom out of that. So that would be another decoration. 
so that's that and I don't know we probably all have have this it's the one from a Walmart so I'll use this for decoration as well so to tie my wreath a uh, little mash to my wreath I have leftovers from this uh, little sticks that are from the Dollar Tree some of them from Halloween as you could tell and some from other projects so I'll be using my leftover material uh, before I cut some more so that is pretty much all you need
Okay, for this project, I'll use a Dollar Tree glass and some candles. Well, it's not a real one, so as you know. But um, I am going to use the spray paint and spray paint black at the bottom and white at the top. And then use just a regular paint to outline the eyes and the mouth and the nose for the candle holder. And I'll use one of these candles to put inside. So. Okay, for this project, you'll need this Dollar Tree foam reef, a star foam bowl, and two black and white yarn. And I will be using this almost out um, acrylic paint in color black to create a face for my jack on this bowl. So it's going to be easy, and you can use any yarn. You can't, you have on hand, mine is just plain. This one, I already used it for something, so this one's obviously, I haven't touched it. But anyway, so whatever you have, just black and white would work. Okay, also for this project, you will need a styrofoam ball and two little skeleton hands from the Dollar Tree. And I will use my miter saw to make them a lot shorter. And for the bow tie, I will use a piece of felt glued to the cardboard. Okay, so the reef is done. Now I want to make a bow tie out of the bat. So I cut the stencil out in my cardboard and this is just a felt so I'm gonna glue this on top and as I showed you I cut the skeleton hands off well I made them shorter so they are uh, and then I spray paint them white and I did pre-marked with my husband's help the jack Jack's eyes, so I'm gonna fill it in with the black paint and then we're gonna just assemble the brief. into it okay so for this project I will we will need a 14 inch reef from the Dollar Tree then I got four different colors of mash because I kind of trying to match it up which is the brown the red actually five the black and then this kind of yellowish I guess in this green and I 
I guess I used it before. I don't know what I did. But this is what I'm going to be using. This five color mesh. And then I have this cool sign that's going to go here. And from my Halloween costume, I had a glove, a hat. And I want to make a little something at the bottom. So I printed out what it says. I want to rock and roll all night and never sleep again. I think it was really suiting for me. So I cut it uh, from the box. And what I'll do, I'll just glue it over and my podge it. And it will be one of my decorations for the reef. So <clears throat> as always, I'm going to pre-cut my mash. And this is my handy dandy board where I stretch my mash and it's always a seven inch long. And then when it's ready all cut, I will use my, uh, I guess, twisters from the Dollar Tree. Again, it doesn't matter what color because it's all gonna be hidden under the mash. So that is all that what we'll need for this project. So let's start working on it. Okay, so the red, the beige, I guess, and green, brown, and black. So all pre-cut. And now I'm gonna show you, I'm making two different kind of wrap-ups. So what I'll do, I'll get this one on, and I usually roll this way for the cute little bows, but I want it to be stringy, so I'm gonna roll this way. So just like that, then you hold it and you get, I get a black one. And then I put it together and take one of the zip ties. Well, that's what I call it. It's a twister, so whatever they are. And just twist. And there's one. So now I'll do the three other colors together, which is this beige one. Green. And brown. Tie it together again. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do with all my pre cuts, and then I will assemble the wreath. Okay, so the reef is ready. Also, in this video, I will be using my new cordless plus detailed high temperature glue gun that I got as a promotional package from Sharebonder. They also sent me this full size uh, glue gun that I have not used it, this lovely mat and lots of different glue sticks that I really love this one because it's cordless, it has a dripping point and it's high temperature and it says if you lay it like this, it's safe to lay it down. Plus it has on and off button. So when the light comes on over here, 
uh, when you put it to charge, that means it's charging. When you take it off, it goes down, and I think it's good for two to four minutes. Then you plug it back, and it charges again. So this one is different. It's a full size, and it is um, dual temperature, which you can do low and high, and it is auto shut off for after 30 minutes. So if you leave it plugged in, it'll shut off on itself. But anything uh, you see here, every, anything you can see here will be linked in the description below to their website. I am not making any commissions. This was gifts from Sharebonder. I am really, really happy and thank you so much for giving me all this wonderful product. I can't wait to dig in in all of this. Okay guys, for this project you will need two Dollar Tree frames and you, I just picked the 8x10 and I used my Cricut. This is going to be one, it's the Freddy song. Fourth and the other one would be this. I just loved it. So, another option for you if you do not have Cricut, I have. I used to use this and I'm still using it a lot. It's like a carbon paper, transfer paper, whatever you call it. So you can just print it on a regular printer and then put it on top and trace it over and then either outline it with the paint or whatever you feel like doing it. So that's an option if you do not have a Cricut to use this. Or you can put it on on the window and it kind of outline it as well. So that I have done that too. But that is going to be a very simple and very cute in my uh, Freddy series, which is my all-time favorite movie. And let's get to it.
So for my elixir bottles, I used my old um, Gatorade, the bottle from the Gatorade. And um, as you can tell, I'm using a spark, that same sparkly green color paint that I had on handy. So I painted it all the way around. And then the top, I made it black, that matte black. And for my other bottle, which is a leftover from the last year of Halloween, I didn't do anything. I just decided to go with the dry brush. And at the top, I made it uh, black. So it kind of like looked like a closed bottle. And then also I print out a couple of signs that is, I thought was appropriate. For the green bottle, I have Love Potion number nine. And for my maroon bottle, I have, it says Night Owl Elixir, see in the dark. And also I used the jute to give it kind of like an old looking uh, vibe for the bottle. So to place my stickers, kind of name tags for my bottles, I cut them out as you can tell. And then I used my old lovely Mod Podge over the bottle first. Then I placed my little sign and I mod push it over and when it dried, I thought it was cute and <laughs> very appropriate. Okay, so to make a jute bow, I wrapped around my three fingers about seven times my jute. And then I cut, of course, the jute off. And what I did, I took another jute little string and I tied it right on the middle. That is all I did to it. And then I hot glue it so it doesn't come apart. And then I just spread it out and added it to my bottle and I thought it gave this old vintage look. <laughs> 